folks, welcome back to my channel. Somebody asked me to do a quick little video just about who I am and what got me interested in performing and that kind of stuff. So this video is just gonna be really short, but if you like it, of course, subscribe, hit the like button, leave comments below about stuff you like to hear me talk about in the future. First of all, I've been performing for as long as I can remember. I've done theater since the sixth grade, but I was part of chorus and choir well before that. And any opportunity as a little kid to get up and make a fool of myself on stage or in front of people and have them look at me, I was there for it. I've also been writing for a really, really long time. Again, since I can remember, probably since like third grade, I used to write little fiction stories. I wrote a lot of short stories when I was younger. I've been working on a novel for a very long time, but I've always tried to do a little bit of everything. I sing, I act, I write, I do all sorts of stuff. I went to school for film. My degree is actually in video production, but I never use it, which is one of the reasons I wanted to start doing YouTube because I really wanted to feel less guilty, I guess about not using my degree or anything like that. And I enjoy making videos, I enjoy talking to people, I try to be entertaining. As far as what got me interested in performing, I couldn't tell you. Like, I have always loved to be on a stage, I've always loved being in front of people. It's something that came very naturally to me and I always enjoyed it. I'm the youngest of three kids and in my house I was always kind of the entertainer. I was the one that told jokes and tried to be ridiculous and make everybody laugh. So that was always kind of just like where I was coming from and I loved to entertain people. I love making jokes. I love just blowing people away in any way that I can and my favorite thing about performing or about making videos or entertaining people in general is connection. To me, the greatest satisfaction as an artist is making anyone feel anything. Making somebody feel happy, making somebody feel sad, making somebody feel less alone, making somebody feel anything. If you can make that human connection enough to evoke feelings in somebody without even really talking to them, but just through creating a piece of media, that's so powerful, that is so cool. And the very idea that I could do that is really, really, really empowering. And that's something that makes me always wanna keep making art, whatever form or medium that I can. I did my first one woman show this year. It was called Bad Sex and Other Problematic Analogies. I'm developing an essay collection. That actually started first, and then I was propositioned to do the one woman show. And it was really awesome and really cool, but I took essays that I had already written, basically, and I kind of wrote some jokey bits in the middle to connect them and perform them all on stage in a couple of songs. And it was a really, really awesome experience that people really responded to. I would love to do it again. I also am working on putting those essays all together for a collection that you can actually purchase as a book. We'll see how that goes because that's been in the works since 2015, so like, girl. But otherwise, yeah, where can you find me? I do a podcast every week with Sarah Heddens called Dead Time Stories with a Z on the end. You can find that on Apple Podcasts, it's on Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, we're all over the place. You can find us on Instagram, Deadtime Stories with a Z, all one word. You can find my personal Instagram, SC Kernison, my last name, that's K E R N I S A N. I'm on Instagram and I kind of post anything that I'm doing there. There's a link on my Instagram to this YouTube page and there's a link to the Dead Time Stories Instagram. If you go to the Dead Time Stories Instagram, you can find a link to our Patreon as well as all of the different websites you can find us on wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah. I'm really hoping to do more of the YouTube videos because this is something that I can do all by myself. I like creating content and I feel like I have a lot of free time and a lot of stuff that I really don't utilize. And I enjoy making these videos and I hope you enjoy watching them. Cause I'm gonna keep making them anyway, so. No, but really, I do them because I love entertaining people. So if you find these in any way entertaining, please let me know. Subscribe, like this video, leave a comment below to let me know anything that you'd like to hear me talk more about. What I'm hoping to do with this channel is kind of like all over the place, but there are three like main areas that I'm hoping to talk about. So I wanna talk about beauty and body modification. That's kind of one thing to me because any way that you're personally 
you altering your physical appearance, whether it's tattoos, piercings, plastic surgery, which I'm not into, but I mean, you can be into it. I think that it's all the same. Makeup, scarification, tattoos, boob jobs, split tongues, they're all body modification and the way that we change how we look to look more the way that we want to look. I'm interested in all of that. So body mods and beauty, I put that kind of together in one. Bujo stuff, bitch. Bujo, 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 bujo. I'm a big bullet journaler. I love bullet journaling and I'm hoping to do bullet journal videos. Girl, you are not ready. Look at them titties. I can't wait to go over Bujo stuff with you, but I'm gonna make so many Bujo videos, you're gonna fucking hate it, or you're gonna be obsessed and you're gonna start your own Bujo. But I wanna do a flip through of my first bullet journal, which is completed. This is my second bullet journal, and I'd say I'm probably about two thirds of the way through this one, and I'm getting ready to go through another one. We'll talk all about it. I want my next one to be um, a bigger size, like, um, I'm really bad with these. I want to say a B6. This is an A5. This is like a traditional size bullet journal, but I want to get one that's like composition notebook size. Girl, it's going to be a game changer. Then the third stuff that I want to talk about, the same way I talk about body modification, the way you change your body, I want to talk about body love, body positivity and sex positivity and queer kink positivity. I want to talk about all that stuff. How to love your body and to love other bodies but responsibly and safely and like sexily. So those are all the things I'm hoping to encompass in this channel over whatever time we have. Oh God, that sounds so ominous. But otherwise, if you're interested in these videos or other media that you can find for me, keep an eye on this YouTube by subscribing. Hit that little bell, girlfriend. Like this video, leave some comments below what you'd like to hear me talk about in the future. And of course, check me out on Instagram or check out Dead Time Stories, my podcast. So if you like what you see, I hope you'll be back and I hope you'll look me up in other spots. But until next time, have a great day, folks. Bye.